Hey then folks, welcome to GM's Alcove. Got another forge and brush painting update for you. What I've been working on and almost finished with, I should be done with these uh, early next week. Uh, had some good paint alongs past week, in the past couple days, and a lot of progress was made. Uh, these are 15 millimeter Peter Pig, of course. World War II British Airborne. We got some Jeeps, we got some German bikes, got some French partisans in the back there, and lots of British Airborne to take a look at. Uh, so let's zoom in and take a look at these guys. And we get a good look at them. And mix all kinds of different models in here. Quite a few with berets, others with the helmets. Now these guys look pretty dark. Everything here so far has been washed and I'm about to do the final highlighting and in some cases finish off the camo pattern on these jackets. Uh, I got about half of the jackets done. Uh, here's a look at them. I have to say the infantry models are fantastic models to work with. Got some flamethrowers here. Uh, I also did put the final highlights on all the trousers so that's done. Uh, I just have to do the jackets, some of the camo, camo pattern, the helmets with the Prussian strips, and some of the webbing. We get highlights in those berets as well. They are pretty dark at the moment. Uh, I'd say they were the most challenging. Simple to get that color. They're a very dark maroon type of color, burgundy. And I basically took a red Vallejo paint and added some blue to get the color I was after. But, uh, yeah, let's look at some of those. And there is a mix of non-commissioned officers, guys with flamethrowers, grenades, and wounded, as well as your standard pairs in the mix here that I'm showing you. And one thing I also have to remember to do, I hope I don't forget, some of my friends are hopefully going to remind me before this project is done, uh, to paint on the non-commissioned officer's stripes. Some of them do have stripes on their shoulders. I think this guy right here, no, he's a, he's a character model. Let me show the front of them. So the flesh needs some dab highlighting. There's a guy with a little hunter's horn. Uh, another guy tossing a grenade. Like I said, they are kind of dark. They just got their wash. You can see the webbing. On these guys, this is a bunch of wounded. But yeah, there is some non-commissioned officers that I have to remember to paint the stripes on. I should have done that much sooner because I don't want to forget. And here's some more. Some guys with piats running forward. Really nice figures. Here's some more. He's, a lot of these guys already have their camo painted on. And uh, I'll probably do some dab highlights on the camo patterns. It's on there already. When I say dab, I mean literally where you just take the color and you just lightly dab over top of the washed color or the darker color. And the other half I have to actually paint on the camo pattern. That was an experiment. Initially, I took about half of these guys, these guys, for instance, right in front of you, and I painted them completely, camouflage and all, and then I washed them. So the wash went over top of the camouflage, but it does show up pretty good. You know, it's still there. You can still see it. And I did do some of the Prussian stripe strips on the helmets, as you can see. So about half of these normal guys, ones with rifles and non-commissioned officers, they are done already. They just need a few little highlights. I even got their trousers highlighted as well. Let's see if that focuses. You can see their helmets are done. They look really nice. Look at that. And of course, I will paint the bases of these guys a little earth tone. So when they're mounted, it'll be a little bit easier the client to, to do so. He doesn't have to worry too much about that. We got some crew for an anti-tank gun, six-pounder, I believe, as well as a couple three-inch mortars. 
I think these are the crew for the six pounder. Got some guys hunkering down. Got their piats going. And uh, very nice. You can see some of the highlights on the trousers, like on this guy here, which is British battle dress. Here's some of the piats. And some of the crew for that, or not Piats, these are the three inch mortars. Some of the crew for that weapon. And I got some more. These guys I'm showing you, these are the, about a platoon worth of troops here, including non commissioned officers and characters, as well as crew for a six pounder and two three inch mortars. That's the guys I'm showing you here. Look pretty good. These are some of the first models I did. Looks like I have to touch that up there, a little bit of paint come off. And that's bound to happen. These guys have been laying around for a little bit longer than they should have been. And we'll take care of all that in the coming paint uh, painting sessions. And yeah. So there they are. And next, we got some vehicles. Let's take a look at these guys. These guys came out pretty good. Uh, I did some of the highlighting already on these Jeeps, on the bags on the side, uh, the straps on the top and on the front. Uh, and what else did I highlight on these? I think I also highlighted the webbing on the riders. So there's still some more highlighting to do. And of course, weathering is going to be last on these. So yeah, very nice. Got to highlight the berets. They're pretty dark. Got to fix that tire there. A little paint come off. This is the final stages some more highlights on the straps that you can see there. I did a little highlighting on the Jeep. Still more to do on them. Of course I got a couple of these German bikes. I did the highlighting on the, the bikes themselves. Looks pretty mucked up. And he's got a camo cover on his helmet. This driver here. Uh, and yeah, I pretty much finished these guys. They're all final highlights applied. They just need some weathering. I could bring out those colors a little more, but I like this look. I don't like things too bright. I want these guys to look like they're fighting in bad weather, muddy terrain and all that. I think they look pretty good. And I think the final weathering will really do the trick. I didn't highlight the or did I? Did I highlight the rifle? I think I did. Still looks a little dark there. Maybe it's just the camera. So there they are. Pretty nice. And finally, something else I did today is I finished off the partisans. Partisans. And I got 16 of these. About half are females. And yeah, they got their wash today. Got all kinds of little colors going on. They're pretty straightforward, these models. And they'll be getting their final highlights on their faces and flesh. I painted the stockings on a couple of these mo models. You can see the stockings are down around their shoes. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I painted the stockings on the other models. They have their stockings up. So I painted them kind of a very light brown, almost flesh color. I can't remember what color paint I used. I think it's crocodile brown from a uh, Team Yankee paint line. Of course, these are really dark. They were just washed. So here's some more. Look at all grim faced. I got a blonde in there. 
didn't go too crazy with the different colors. And I looked at a lot of color pictures and photographs of uh, French partisans, late war. And these are pretty common colors, as far as I could tell. So, there they are. That's a good look at them. So anyway, that's the collection. There is the commission. These guys will be completed next week. Uh, quite happy with the results. It's my first time painting Denison jackets or British Airborne at all. So this was fun and it was enjoyable. And a little bit challenging. Uh, had no problem with the camouflage pattern whatsoever. Took a look at a lot of designs and actual pictures of the Denison jacket pattern. Uh, I think if I had any issues, it was probably with the, the berets. Just getting the right shade that I was happy with. I remember initially they were too red. Uh, I thought I could just paint on a dark red and just put a wash on it, and that was good. Now these have to be maroon. You have to add some blue to your paint, unless you already have a proper color. And so, yeah, I redid them. And I think the ones I'm most happy with are actually the ones here in the Jeep, and they're really dark. In fact, they're too dark. But that's actually perfect, because when I highlight that with straight-up maroon, uh, I think that's going to look fantastic. The others might be a little too red yet. I don't know. I'm either going to leave them, or I might just go back over them again and do like I did on the Jeeps. Uh, I did give these another wash. I definitely don't want to highlight them with any red. I don't recommend that. If you do highlight them, highlight them with a maroon color. But anyway, no big issues. There they are, folks. This is what I've been working on. Next up on the painting table soon, probably late next week or early next week. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, late next week or the week after, I'll be getting to some 15 millimeter Light Dragoons, Old Glory, Vertenbergers, some Napoleonics at last. And they're going to be really enjoyable to paint. I can't wait to get to them. They're all cleaned up. They're on their strips. The horses have been painted. They've been all primed. They're ready to go. So I'm going to start getting into the uniform details later next week and looking at what I want to do and where I want to go with them. And one good thing about that project is I get to base them. And I believe I'm also putting on the flags. I'm going to hand paint the flags. Something I'd love to do. Really looking forward to that. So I hope you guys are too. So that's what's on the painting table, folks. This is what I've been working on. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, folks, be, sh be on the lookout for my paint-alongs. I do them four days a week. Usually run four to six hours. Uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And the exact start time changes based on my schedule. But stay alert. I do post links to join, to watch, and enjoy. All right, folks, you guys hang in there. It's only going to get better. So take care, folks.